Greetings again to you, my friends out there. This is Pastor Judy Kearney from Fear the Death Ministries in Akron, Ohio. I know that we put the opening on, and I know that you've seen it, and I know that you realize this is one ministry that wants to give you the truth. I'm so thankful that you're going to tune in again and again, because I haven't been called to preach, but to teach. As I teach the Holy Word of God, I am so grateful that the Lord has dealt with me. Teach my word. Teach my blood. Teach my truth. Teach the anointing that comes from the precious Word of God. It comes from the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus and the precious Holy Ghost. This is something that people do not realize. We cannot do these things of ourselves. We have to be anointed by God. We have to depend upon the Word. We have to depend on Him to be our teacher because He said He would give us our teacher when He sent the Holy Ghost. How can we decide that we can do it on our own when the Lord says, I am the Lord that worketh with thee. I am the Lord. In everything you see, you see the blood and see the necessity for the precious Jesus that we serve and love. You know, as I was reading my Bible and as I looked through this, I remember something that he told me about people that was even coming into the teachings into my, into my living room as I was teaching it. This is what I remember him telling me. This, this is right out of the Word of God. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Their heart is far from me. Lip service will get us nowhere. If we get saved and we don't get saved without our heart being ready, we're not saved. We have to have heartfelt salvation. We have to have the heart within us to be ready to study the Word of God. We have to have the heart to speak to people and say, this is the truth out of the word. But it can't be. I hear people say, well, I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. But when you're pleading the blood, do you think in your heart, this is the holy blood of the Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for me at Calvary. This is that pure, holy, shed blood. This is the answer to everything. He gave me something that I've told to the people just in my ministry. That is this. It is that you... That you're, when your heart is far from you, need that truth with the Lord. That is it, that you have to remember that he said, He is the Lord that worketh with thee. He is the Lord that healeth thee. He is the Lord. Remember, it's him, him, him. He also told me this, when something is wrong, if you're, if you're sick and you've been, don't understand it. If you don't understand what's going on, he told me the antidote for any sickness, any disease, anything at all, is the blood of Jesus. So when you have the blood of Jesus, use it with your heart when you say, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, I'm healed by the blood of Jesus. I'm going to pick up the word and Holy Spirit, be with me and be my teacher through the blood of Jesus that's in me. Teach me what the Bible says. Teach me what the truth is. Teach me what I'm going to need to be, to be ready to fly out of here when Jesus comes back. We're only going to have one flight out. I keep telling you this. We're not going to have time to study again to show ourselves the proof. we got to be ready. We have to know that this word is not, this word is our safety. This is the true word of God. This is what I teach on. This is his word. I can't tell you what thus says anything except God's word. It's only Judy if I say it out of me, but out of him is thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord out of his holy word. I will not go out. I do not teach without teaching right out of my word of God, the Bible. As I told you, I have taken to the King James Version. Because I feel it doesn't add to or take from. I love my word. I love my Jesus. I love the holiness of the power of the blood within me that works within me. You need that power work within you. You need the blood of Jesus. You need the truth of the word. When you come, do not forget. Have paper and pencil ready. Have something that you can write. Be sure that at the end of my teachings, when it says do your homework, you you will not get the advantage of those unless you do your homework. You will lose it. You will read it, but it will not stick with you. You have to study like the Bible says. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. The only way you're going to do that is if you obey the Spirit. Obey what the Lord says. Obey the word of God. This is your safety. This is your road map. This is your truth. Stay on the truth path. The holy word of God. And keep in mind that this is going to be something that you'll hear from me. It takes the blood of Jesus for dying, but it takes the Holy Ghost for flying. Don't forget that. I'll be with you again very soon. In the meantime, study and look forward. We'll see you again. God bless you.